Hello, everyone, and welcome to another weekly pastor's message here from Salem Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Aaron, and this video is um, coming out on June. We're in June, yes, June 8th. So if you're catching this uh, on the day that it drops, um, hope you are having a great Wednesday. Otherwise, uh, blessings on whichever day it is. Um, a couple of announcements. If you are catching this on Wednesday, June 8th, then um, you, you are invited to Leona Barbeck's service um, next, this Thursday at 11 o'clock. Visitations will start at 10. Um, so that is happening this Thursday on June 9th. Um, if you're catching this after this or other announcements in general, a big thank you to those who uh, delivered, helped deliver flowers for our neighbors during Pentecost. Um, that was a fun experience. Uh, unfortunately, the two houses that that uh, we went to, they they weren't home, but we still got to leave the card and the flowers. And it's just nice to know that that we have shared some some beauty um, with our neighbors and. I hope that there were fruitful conversations to those of you who did encounter neighbors who were home. Um, maybe we'll do more activities like that in the near future. Um, the owls are meeting next week on Tuesday, June 14th at one o'clock p.m. And the topic is on public safety and scams. So there's a lot of scams out there. I get phone calls every day, emails that luckily go to the scam um, folder most of the time. But uh, it's always good to kind of keep up on most recent scam attempts and, and things like that. So the OWL meeting for 55 plus on Tuesday, June 14th at 1 o'clock p.m. Also, Dakota County has sent us some resources uh, about that the county is offering. I think some are found on the website, but um, it involves uh, mental health uh, resources and, and lines that can be called, phone numbers that can be called um, for different issues and, and needs within this community. So if uh, you are interested in learning about what our county has to offer, um, check out the website, or, or if you're not finding what you need, uh, call or email the office and, and we can point you to those resources that Dakota County so graciously shared. And that will lead into the reflection for today. Um, so on Sunday, we had Pentecost, the, the high holy day where we celebrated the gift of the Spirit and the ways in which the Spirit spoke through the disciples and all who were gathered into that upper room, creating the church as a multitude of people from many different cultures and uh, countries heard the gospel and understood it. And uh, I love that image of just this diverse church that, that springs up from the Spirit's work at the very beginning of um, of the life of the church. Sometimes Pentecost is even called the birthday of the church. So um, what I'm thinking about is how we can embrace that gift of the Spirit more in our lives today, remembering that that Spirit hasn't stopped, <laughs> that, that the work of the church is still very much fueled by the breath of God, um, uh, blowing through us uh, or filling our lungs and enlightening us on our way. So one thing, as, as I talked about Dakota resources for the county, one thing that we can do to embrace the gifts of the Spirit is to listen to voices that are speaking into our present day that might be from different um, uh, cultures or perspectives, um, different population groups, and um, listening to those voices to hear insight, to hear how the church is growing and changing and working in our world today. So I thought I'd just give you some of the 
podcasts that I listen to on a weekly basis that I find really um, meaningful and helpful for me in kind of challenging ways that I think about church or, or expanding ways that I think about um, the work of God or, or the ways that, that God speaks into this world. And so I'll just share a couple that I, I use and um, you can you can check them out. You cannot check them out, but either way, I think uh, if we can kind of break open our routines and allow different voices, different um, perspectives to come in that um, are still grounded in the gospel that are still speaking from a place of love for the sake of God's glory, then we can find the Spirit uh, is, is far more active and alive than we could ever imagine. And so this, this might, these, these podcasts might challenge you in, in ways, but it might also really lift up an aspect of, of God or church that you had never thought of before that it's really exciting that maybe you you can latch on to and pursue um, it with further study and thought. So on a weekly basis, I always listen to a um, working preacher. That's through Luther Sem. That's more geared directly towards pastors. It's kind of how you would, um, ideas around what you could do for a sermon, um, looking at the, the lectionary texts for the week. So, but it, but it, has different perspectives in that the the professors who speak um, come from different backgrounds and denominations. So um, that's one uh, podcast that that has a weekly episode that that might help you listen to the the lectionary on Sundays and the the sermons on Sundays with a with a different ear, well, maybe a more discerning ear or a more questioning ear, or something that will um, kind of. Uh, help you hear the text differently. Another podcast that's really fun that has that has really helped me uh, look at God's work um, in this world in a, in a new light is Nerds at Church. These are two colleagues of mine, um, one who I've met in person only uh, briefly, but they get together and again talk about the lectionary text for the coming Sunday. But they bring these perspectives that I um, have never heard before um, from from lived lives that that I frankly have not lived. And so I love nerds at church and the ways in which they lift up uh, the gospel through admittingly very nerdy lenses. I mean, they often reference uh, Star Trek or Doctor Who or Buffy the Vampire Slayer or all these different pop culture touchstones as uh, an in towards understanding the gospel. So uh, that is another way to consider um, the texts for this Sunday and the ways in which the Spirit is speaking to the church at large. The third podcast I wanted to lift up is uh, a podcast which I found recently called Three Black Men, Theology, Culture, and the World Around Us. I honestly do not remember how I found this, but these um, three get together and they talk about church and life today um, from the perspective of three black men. And it is a phenomenal podcast. These people truly speak about a beloved community, about the glory of God and their trust in the, the work of the Spirit. But they talk about incredibly challenging topics and, and relevant um, things that are happening within our world today. But they also uh, will throw in a fun episode or two reflecting on maybe the Marvel uh, series Loki or the or the the show Encanto. Um, it seems like that show has, speaks to a lot of us nowadays. But um, I I I find their their insights um, very valuable um, and and helpful for me in kind of um, hearing where the spirit is at work in uh, again denominations and cultures and and um, lived experiences that that frankly I do not have. 
So it helped, has opened my eyes to the ways in which the Spirit is truly at work and doing beautiful ministry and speaking in powerful ways that are, are, are being understood um, by many different people. And I think that's the, the image of Pentecost that we can lift up and can embrace moving into this season after Pentecost as we open our ears and our eyes to the, the so many different lived aspects of the world around us and maybe seek out some resources of voices and um, uh, insights that, that you might not have sought out before. Um, the, the spirit truly blows wherever it chooses and uh, to follow that is, is um, a great practice. So um, those are some resources that I have. And uh, if you have some great resources that you tend to go to, um, please feel free to share them. I'd love to hear um, what is speaking to you in this time. And um, we can share together and trust that the Spirit is truly at work in our lives. So blessings on your day and the week ahead. Have a good one.